Listen, for it is the voice. Years ago, newspaper reporter Miles Archman learned the ancient art of throwing one's voice. Today, he uses this talent to make criminals believe he's an invisible specter, known only as The Voice. As our story continues, Miles hides in an alley after convincing Rocco Gambrelli that The Voice has turned criminal. He hopes that by gaining Rocco's trust, he will discover who's behind the evil weed conspiracy. Hop in the car, I gotta get something at my apartment. We'll talk on the way. Um, wouldn't you rather talk here near this alley? It's a lovely day. Get in, I got things to do. Whoa, who are you? What are you doing in my car? It looks like a hitchhiker. Why do I give him a ride? Hey, don't I recognize you from somewhere? I don't see how. I'm wearing a different mustache. Huh. Well, in any case, beat it. I don't like freeloaders. All right, voice, are you in? Uh, yeah. Hey, are you sure you don't want to give this nice man a ride? I mean, it's a hot day. What was that? Voice? Voice! I was saying maybe we should give this man a ride. I mean... Forget about him. Let's talk about our first job. Sure, but wouldn't you rather talk about this? Voice, you're going in and out on me. Are you all right? Do you think you could drive at one mile per hour? I tend to get motion sickness. Huh, that might be a problem during getaways. Tell you what, I'll keep it at 15. The window's open if you need it. So, how far is your apartment? About five miles. How much further is it? Three miles. Is something wrong with you? Your voice sounds different. I'm just... excited about being a criminal. Say, since we're criminals now, why don't we litter by tossing that water bottle out the passenger window? Nah, I'm gonna drink that later. Here it is. It ain't much, but it's home. Hey, it's that guy who wanted a lift. What are you doing here? He seems tired. Perhaps we should let him lie down. Wait a minute. His mustache is fake. This guy's Miles Archman. Sure thing, boss. Just tell me where it's at. 1106 West 3rd. Got it. See you tomorrow at 8. We've kept Mr. Archman here for over an hour. I think he's learned his lesson. I ain't through with him yet. So why were you snooping outside my apartment? I was selling subscriptions to the Daily Orbit door-to-door. -door. I believe him. Let's let him go. Not just yet. Boys, let's step over here out of hearing range of this guy. I want to talk to you private-like. Okay, so that was the boss of one of the gigs I got going. This Russian guy named Antonov. No. No, that's his name. Anyway, seeing that we're partners now, I was thinking I might cut you in. Yes. So did you want to come to the meeting with me? Interesting. Well, did you or didn't you? Thursday. Nah, it's tomorrow. Yes. Great, now let's go deal with this guy. Let me show you one of the perks of being a criminal, voice. Ooh, you get to do that. Pretty great, huh? Yeah, pretty great. If you like that, you'll like this. Oh, now it might be too much of a good thing. Come on, don't get squeamish on me. A lot of fun, huh? I've never had so much fun. The night's still young. Here, Archman, put this in your mouth. Yes, it's only polite to offer him a cigarette. This ain't no regular cigarette. It's a marijuana cigarette. The evil weed. Get it away from me. No. You gotta breathe it in sometime. That's it. Take a nice long hit. <laughs> Miles has been infected by the evil weed. Will he survive the experience? Find out in the next exciting chapter of The Voice. Two Minute Danger Theater is written and produced by MJ Butler. Starring Curtis Eames, Ryan Thomas Johnson, Tori McPetrie, and me, I enjoy parallel parking. Uh -huh.